and saying what I am about to say right now is never going to get old, no matter what time of day it is. Happy hump day, everybody. Yep, it's Wednesday. Time is uh, almost half over. The we- Sorry, the week is just about half over. I'm looking forward to that weekend, you know. So, yeah. If For those of you who have been keeping paying attention to um, uh, my Facebook, I'm just going to let you know right now, videos for a while are going to be much later in the day. So, like, early to late evening. But, you know, and just on Monday through Friday. But the weekends are going to be much earlier. Just for now, there won't be any, like, videos in the morning. So, you're still going to get your entertainment from me. Just wait a little bit longer. Okay? So, yeah. Today's uh, Wednesday. You know, going pretty well for my... Going pretty well. I'm in a super secret location right now working on something rather important. It has nothing to do with making videos per se, because if it did, the videos would be on hiatus, and that is never going to happen. I'm going to make sure it's never going to happen. You're going to get your entertainment from me, and you are going to like it, ladies and gentlemen. So, with that said, yeah. Expect the videos to be somewhere between... 6.30 and 7.30, you know, Eastern Standard Time, so, yeah, but, yeah, right now I'm in a super secret location that I cannot reveal, as, again, it's something that I'm working on, something really important, something really private, but, yeah, no matter what happens, you guys are going to get your videos, but just know that, what I'm doing is something I absolutely need to do. So, with that said, boy, um, sorry, I just I just realized I'm not really going to be. Able, well, I should probably explain further. See, the thing I'm working on takes a vast majority of the day to do, so much so that it also takes up the morning as well. So. It's going to have to be afternoon, evening time when you are going to get the video. So, yeah. Just be patient. No matter what happens, the videos are going to be coming, and they're going to be coming in fast and hard and strong and all those other good things that you can look forward to from yours truly. So, yeah. As of right now, things are looking up in life. Not that I was oppressed or anything, but, you know, I like to say that, you know, we want to make sure people, everybody's okay. And You know what I've been thinking about lately? Recently, I actually got open to trying new, th- well, I've said this before, but I've tried, like, many new things. But you know what I actually haven't had before? Hummus. Yeah. You know, like in the Sabra hummus commercials, you know, the, the dip that's there, like blended up chickpeas, olive oil, all that good stuff. I gotta say, I really like it a lot. And then it got me thinking. And don't get me wrong. For those of you who are new, I mean, a lot of people have been watching this, but for those of you who are new, the hors d'oeuvre of my full course menu is chicken wings. But that doesn't mean it's like the thing I'll have most. I mean, let's be honest. How often at a party that, or a fancy party you go to, are you really ever going to see chicken wings? I mean, when you go to a party, you're often going to see something more on the lines of a cheese plate. You know, with cheese and crackers and nuts or whatever. Or nothing can go with the classic chips and dip. So, you know what? How about I talk about some of my favorite dips? Although, I do it, and you know, it doesn't have to be with chips either. You can dip plain things out of things. And no, I'm not talking about the dip and chewing tobacco. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. In fact, back when I was a training piling, it was a surprisingly often pastime that a lot of my brothers would do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, of course... I am not really into doing that stuff, but 
to each their own. I'm not going to judge. So, yeah. I just told you I liked hummus. And, you know, that's always a great dip to have. And I've already shown you guys that I can make a mean guacamole. So, everybody loves guacamole. And, you know, there's always the, um, the, it's, um, the French onion dip with the, uh, chips or whatever. Like the, uh, like that, like the brand of French onion dip that you have, they dip like regular potato chips, and that's always really good as well. Let's see what's another great dip. Um, ooh, right, the, uh, the, the fancy, like, bread bowl one where, like, they cut open, like, a giant loaf of bread, and, like, they take, like, all the pieces out of it, but then there's, like, a thing of, I want to say, like, what, I can't, I can't think of the name, it's, it has, like, dill in it, it's a dip that has, like, dill and, like, sour cream, that's really good, because you take those pieces of bread and you dip that in there, and, you know what, another popular dip, well, I should probably iterate. Right. People think, is salsa a dip? Well, technically, I see no problem with dipping salsa, d dip, dipping chips in salsa, but salsa is actually Spanish for sauce, not dip, so take that as you will. And of course, you gotta go with the classic queso dip. Whether you, you know, blend butter and fat to make a roux with milk and add cheese in it and Put your own little peppers and put your own like onions and peppers in or whatever. Or if you're like pretty much everyone else who's so incredibly lazy, myself included, you just basically mix Velveeta cheese with Rotel. I gotta say that Rotel has a lot of really great options for like tomatoes. I mean, you know, like the original, you have mild, Chipotle. Chipotle is pretty good with Rotel. The Chipotle flavored Rotel is pretty good. Fire roasted is really good, but you know me, I do like spice. I go with the hot kind just because, again, I like spice, I like a good challenge. Handling heat is actually a decent part of the trick that I'm starting to work on because you never know where you're going to need to use it. So, not about chips and dip, but let's talk about other kinds of dips. I mean, you got to go with fries and ketchup or chicken fingers and ketchup. That stuff's always good. Or you know what? You can dip fries and chicken fingers in mustard. Or barbecue sauce. Or, I mean, Chick-fil-A has a whole lot of... You know, I actually got to come up. I actually got to tell you about this because this is actually really funny. Because, believe it or not, I have attempted to try and recreate Chick-fil-A sauce. Especially since, for those of you who actually know what the internet is or have ever been on the internet the um the uh sorry let's try that the recipe or for chick-fil-a sauce is supposed to be a combination of barbecue sauce honey mustard and ranch several times i've tried to recreate it and it tastes good i can definitely assure you it tastes good but it doesn't have that golden yellow glow that the um, Chick-fil-A sauce has. If anything, whenever I made this sauce, it always had like a s more tint of like red. Then again, maybe, I don't know, I gotta look up like the ratios or something. Maybe I should like honey, but that would actually be really good. But um, another sauce that I know for a fact that I've made, and I have told you I made this before successfully, secret sauce. And no, not that kind of secret sauce for all you people with dirty thoughts out there. See, for those of you who don't know, secret sauce is really something you put on, like, burgers. But it makes for a good dipping sauce as well. See, it's usually supposed to be a combination of mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and relish. With whatever spices you would like to add to yours. In my case, I add... I add a black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. But the, what was really good with my recipe is I actually use sweet dill pickle relish when I make the secret sauce. That way I don't need to add extra sugar or vinegar. 
because, you know, this means pickle relish. And it's sweet pickle relish, too. And there's already sugar and vinegar in that. And salt, too. So, yeah, no need to add extra salt, either. But, you know, there is one thing we can all agree on, is that mayonnaise is a powerful thing. It is practically the one thing every dip starts out with, as well as has the power to turn anything into a salad. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Mayonnaise really has the power to turn everything into a salad. Think about it. ham salad, chicken salad, tuna salad. Uh, there you go. So, yeah. I was talking about chips and dip. And stuff is actually starting to make me a little hungry. So, yeah. It actually is getting kind of late. And again, I'm really kind of sorry that these videos are going to be a little later in the day than I would like. But I'm working on something really important, and I really hope it'll all work out. Although, I may or may not be able to make my 10-year high school reunion. I'm going to have to play that by ear just because how important this really is. I mean, I'm definitely hoping I get there by then. It's just, what I'm working on is very secretive and very important and very personal to me. Just know that these videos are always going to happen because you guys have actually shown me a lot of support and love and honestly even though this started off as a new year's resolution I honestly think it's grown into something a lot more than that something better something to look forward to every day then again it is hump day so you can always look forward to the end of the week if you can't look forward to this right so, yeah, I'm a little annoyed that I had to change my schedule around for this, but you know what, as long as I'm able to make these videos, it's important. And, and who knows, you know, what I'm doing is so important that maybe if I do miss the 10 year reunion, maybe something good will come of that. You know what the old, you know what the old saying goes? When one door opens, when one door closes, I'm sorry, like, how do I screw up that line? How do, I, how do I mess up that line? When one door closes, another one is always going to open. You can just say the door for the morning videos is closed for now. What I'm doing, I don't think is going to take as long as I fear, but... The door that will be open is the fact these videos are always going to be coming. And as long as you guys continue to watch and continue to be happy, that's all I care about as well. And on that happy note, I am humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy today. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful hot day. And remember, if any of you guys ever want to talk, or if any of you guys ever want to chat, I'm always going to be here. To land it here. And I'm always going to have your back. So take care, everybody.